more time without leaning forward so much. You can look over to me here and then this camera. We've been sold a lie that we're supposed to all look and exist the same way. I felt like I had to prove myself as a woman and fit into a certain narrative of what that means. People commenting to me in person about my shape, my you size, look absolutely height. terrifying. Mm -hmm. Your hips are not it's the right size. I'm not me anymore. And then I was like, enough. Now it just sounds so stupid every time I say it. Something that really impresses me about my body is it has its own instinct. I really like my skin. It has warmth and softness and coarse bits and dimpled bits and I feel like it represents me. How's that? When I started to see women like Salma Hayek and like Jennifer Lopez, my eyes just like opened up because I was like, okay, they like look way more like me than anything I've ever seen. After having her, I had stretch marks. My boobs was twice as big. But seeing all my baby just love upon me, grabbing my side fat, made me just appreciate my body even more. You know, my body has been part of my journey from the very beginning of life until, until now, and it's what takes us through. Okay. okay. I don't really feel like I'm an age, necessarily. I don't know, I feel ageless. There are a lot of caricatures of what it means to be a man or a woman imposed on trans people. But the body that I was born into is my body and the way that I move through the world is myself. There was strength that I didn't even know that I had. Yeah, the blue this is sexy to me, this is womanly, this is strong to me. It's all the kind of pretty stuff the body what was. the body will do. I feel strong seeing my muscles. When you see yourself as beautiful, beautiful, it's a way of stepping into your own power. My body, it's sacred to me, you know, and it's my own.